I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 16.1 Questioner, I would like to ask, considering the free will distortion of the law of one, how come the guardians quarantine the earth? Is this quarantine within free will? Answer, I am Ra. The guardians guard the free will distortion of the mind, body, spirit complexes of third density on this planetary sphere. The events which required activation of quarantine were interfering with the free will distortion of mind, body, spirit complexes. Question 16.2 Questioner, I may be wrong, but it seems to me that it would be the free will of, say the Orion group, to interfere. How is this balanced with the information which you just gave? Answer, I am Ra. The balancing is from dimension to dimension. The attempts of the so-called crusaders to interfere with free will are acceptable upon the dimension of their understanding. However, the mind, body, spirit complexes of this dimension you call third form a dimension of free will which is not able to, shall we say, recognize in full, the distortions towards manipulation. Thus, in order to balance the dimensional variances in vibration, a quarantine, this being a balancing situation whereby the free will of the Orion group is not stopped but given a challenge. Meanwhile, the third group is not hindered from free choice. Question 16.3 Questioner, could these windows that occur to let the Orion group come through once in a while have anything to do with this free will balancing? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.4 Questioner, could you tell me how that works? Answer, I am Ra. The closest analogy would be a random number generator within certain limits. Question 16.5. Questioner, what is the source of this random number generator? Is it created by the Guardians to balance their guarding? Or is it a source other than the Guardians? Answer, I am Ra. All sources are one. However, we understand your query. The window phenomenon is another self phenomenon from the Guardians. It operates from the dimensions beyond space time and what you may call the area of intelligent energy. Like your cycles, such balancing, such rhythms are as a clock striking. In the case of the windows, no entities have the clock. Therefore, it seems random. It is not random in the dimension which produces this balance. That is why we stated the analogy was within certain limits. Question 16.6 Questioner, then this window balancing prevents the Guardians from reducing their positive polarization by totally eliminating the Orion contact through shielding. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is partially correct. In effect, the balancing allows an equal amount of positive and negative influx, this balanced by the mind, body, spirit distortions of the social complex. Thus in your particular planetary sphere, less negative, as you would call it, information or stimulus is necessary than positive due to the somewhat negative orientation of your social complex distortion. Question 16.7 Questioner, in this way, total free will is balanced so that individuals may have an equal opportunity to choose service to others or service to self. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.8. Questioner, this is a profound revelation, I believe, in the law of free will. Thank you. This is a minor question further to make an example of this principle, but if the confederation landed on earth, they would be taken as gods, breaking the law of free will and thus reducing their polarization of service to all. I assume that the same thing would happen if the Orion group landed. How would this affect their polarization of service to self if they were able to land and became known as gods? Answer, I am Ra. In the event of mass landing of the Orion group, the effect of polarization would be strongly toward an increase in the service to self, precisely the opposite of the former opportunity which you mentioned. Question 16.9 Questioner, if the Orion group was able to land, would this increase their polarization? What I am trying to get at is, is it better for them to work behind the scenes to get recruits, shall we say, from our planet, the person from our planet going strictly on his own using free will, or is it just as good for the Orion group to land on our planet and demonstrate remarkable powers and get people like that? Answer, I am Ra. 
This first instance is, in the long run, shall we put it, more salubrious for the Orion group in that it does not infringe upon the law of one by landing and, thus, does its work through those of this planet. In the second circumstance, a mass landing would create a loss of polarization due to the infringement upon the free will of the planet. However, it would be a gamble. If the planet were then conquered and became part of the Empire, the free will would then be re-established. This is restrained in action due to the desire of the Orion group to progress towards the One Creator. This desire to progress inhibits the group from breaking the law of confusion. Question 16.10 Questioner, you mentioned the word, Empire, in relation to the Orion group. I have thought for some time that the movie Star Wars was somehow an allegory for what is actually happening. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct in the same way that a simple children's story is an allegory for physical philosophical social complex distortion understanding. Question 16.11 Questioner, is there a harvest of entities oriented towards service to self like there is a harvest of those oriented towards service to others? Answer, I am Ra. There is one harvest. Those able to enter fourth density through vibrational complex levels may choose the manner of their further seeking of the One Creator. Question 16.12 Questioner, then as we enter the fourth density there will be a split, shall we say, and part of the individuals who go into the fourth density will go into planets or places where there is service to others and part will go into places where there is service to self. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.13 Questioner, can you tell me the origin of the Ten Commandments? Answer, I am Ra. The origin of these commandments follows the law of negative entities impressing information upon positively oriented mind, body, spirit complexes. The information attempted to copy or ape positivity while retaining negative characteristics. Question 16.14 Questioner, was this done by the Orion group? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.15 Questioner, what was their purpose in doing this? Answer, I am Ra. The purpose of the Orion group, as mentioned before, is conquest and enslavement. This is done by finding and establishing an elite and causing others to serve the elite through various devices such as the laws you mentioned and others given by this entity. Question 16.16 Questioner, was the recipient of the commandments positively or negatively oriented? Answer, I am Ra. The recipient was one of extreme positivity, thus accounting for some of the pseudo-positive characteristics of the information received. As with contacts which are not successful, this entity, vibratory complex, Mish, did not remain a credible influence among those who had first heard the philosophy of one and this entity was removed from this third density vibratory level in a lessened or saddened state, having lost, what you may call, the honor and faith with which he had begun the conceptualization of the law of one and the freeing of those who were of his tribes, as they were called at that time space. Question 16.17 Questioner, if this entity was positively oriented, how was the Orion group able to contact him? Answer, I am Ra. This was an intensive, shall we say, battleground between positively oriented forces of confederation origin and negatively oriented sources. The one called Mish was open to impression and received the law of one in its most simple form. However, the information became negatively oriented due to his people's pressure to do specific physical things in the third density planes. This left the entity open for the type of information and philosophy of a self-service nature. Question 16.18 Questioner, it would be holy and like an entity fully aware of the knowledge of the law of one to ever say, Thou shalt not. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.19. Questioner, can you give me some kind of history of your social memory complex and how you became aware of the law of one? Answer, I am Ra. The path of our learning is graven in the present moment. There is no history, as we understand your concept. Picture, if you will, a circle of being. We know the Alpha and Omega as infinite intelligence. The circle never ceases. 
it is present. The densities we have traversed at various points in the circle correspond to the characteristics of cycles, first, the cycle of awareness, second, the cycle of growth, third, the cycle of self-awareness, fourth, the cycle of love or understanding, fifth, the cycle of light or wisdom, sixth, the cycle of light love, love light or unity, seventh, the gateway cycle, eighth, the octave which moves into a mystery we do not plan. Question 16.20 Questioner, thank you very much. In previous material, before we communicated with you, it was stated by the Confederation that there is actually no past or future, that all is present. Would this be a good analogy? Answer, I am Ra. There is past, present, and future in third density. In an overview such as an entity may have, removed from the space-time continuum, it may be seen that in the cycle of completion there exists only the present. We, ourselves, seek to learn this understanding. At the seventh level or dimension, we shall, if our humble efforts are sufficient, become one with all, thus having no memory, no identity, no past or future, but existing in the all. Question 16.21 Questioner does this mean that you would have awareness of all that is? Answer, I am Ra. This is partially correct. It is our understanding that it would not be our awareness, but simply awareness of the Creator. In the Creator is all that there is. Therefore, this knowledge would be available. Question 16.22 Questioner, I was wondering how many inhabited planets they are in our galaxy and if they all reach higher density by the law of one. It doesn't seem that there would be any other way to reach higher density. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Please restate your query. Question 16.23 Questioner, how many inhabited planets are there in our galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. We are assuming that you intend all dimensions of consciousness or densities of awareness in this question. Approximately one-fifth of all planetary entities contain awareness of one or more densities. Some planets are hospitable only for certain densities. Your planet, for instance, is at this time hospitable for densities 1, 2, 3, and 4. Question 16.24 Questioner, roughly how many total planets in this galaxy of stars that we are in are aware regardless of density? Answer, I am Ra. Approximately 67 million. Question 16.25 Questioner, can you tell me what percentage of those are third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc., density? Answer, I am Ra. A percentage 17 for first density, a percentage 20 for second density, a percentage 27 for third density, a percentage 16 for fourth density, a percentage 6 for fifth density. The other information must be withheld. Question 16.26 Questioner, of these first five densities, have all of the planets progressed from the third density by knowledge and application of the law of one? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.27 Questioner, then the only way for a planet to get out of the situation that we are in is for the population to become aware of and start practicing the law of one. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 16.28 Questioner, can you tell me what percentage of the third, fourth, and fifth density planets which you have spoken of here are polarized negatively towards service to self? Answer, I am Ra. This is not a query to which we may speak given the law of confusion. We may say only that the negatively or self-service oriented planetary spheres are much fewer. To give you exact numbers would not be appropriate, 